Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Since 8 p.m. Eastern, we've been having a great time here at TCM thanks to our lineup of movie spoofs, films which take a genre and add a lot of wit and humor to them along the way. Back with me is the man who's co-hosting tonight's movies, Mad Magazine's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. Dick has been writing for Mad Magazine since 1962. During that time, he's written hundreds of movie and television satires. Welcome again, Dick. Oh, it's great to be here. Nice and to have you here, and again, thank you for oh, my, you're welcome. my Mad Magazine button you're here. You're more than welcome. I'm you very, do me proud wearing I'm it. I'm proud to have it. Well, we're rounding out tonight's lineup with what I think is really one of the funniest movies ever made. This is Spinal Tap, a mockumentary from 1984 which follows the fictional rock band Spinal Tap on tour. It's a movie conceived by and starring Christopher Guest, Michael McKean, Harry Shearer, and Rob Reiner. Rob Reiner also directing the movie. Now, this is such a good movie. This I'm is, so glad this is in the line. Oh, yeah, this is absolutely great. It's so funny, to, the, the, the format of be interviewing people. And also, what I thought was amazing in this movie is finding earlier footage of the rock group yes. where they really do look young. Yeah. And some of it in black and white. Yeah. It is just a And it's riot. done in such a serious way, which I love, is that I know a lot of people, when they first saw it, took it seriously. <laughs> oh. You know, and they couldn't understand why a band not better known oh, was right. the subject of a documentary. Because it came out at the same time that you know, full-length documentaries were being done by all these big rock groups, right. and they were done so seriously, and they were giving such, you know, pontificating so much about you know, the depth of the songs and all of that, and this makes such fun of all of that. Absolutely. Even and it's so yes, witty. Yes, from your intro, not until the second time you hear it do you say, what? You know, Britain's loudest band yeah. I mean, what a yeah. what, what a great achievement yeah. wow they're the loudest <laughs> who knew yeah it, it's great it's just you know that's the one thing that i'm sorry about that we're kind of lacking in the market today is that's wit you know we have a lot of comedy and we have you know a lot of bathroom humor and we that, have a lot yes. of a lot of slapstick and all yes, of that yes. but true wit and this movie has great wit in it. It's done very subtly. They do it terribly seriously. They're wonderful actors, every one of them in this movie. And they're poking fun, but they never let it show. No, it's just absolutely. done in a simple, witty way. Absolutely. And this movie has a lot of jokes, a lot of tongue in cheek, a lot of outrageously funny situations. You know, the whole thing on stage where the cocoons are supposed to open right, yes. and one opens when it's too late. Yeah, and of course this, although Christopher Guest did not direct this movie, it kind of is the beginning of Christopher Guest and these same players doing things like, you know, Best in Show, Wedding for Guffman. Uh, Mighty Wind. Mighty Wind and all that. So. Yes. This it started a great tradition in there. And I love all those movies. So do I. I hope he is, does another. Yeah, this is the best. Well, let's see the movie. Here from 1984 with appearances in it also by Billy Crystal, Bruno Kirby, Fran Drescher, and Angelica Houston. Our final movie spoof of the night, this is Spinal Tap. <laughs>